All right, follow along Friday, even though it's not Friday, but we did the first video and we have to check for acceptance. Typically you can check for, uh, to see if your queen got released 24 hours after. We couldn't do that, we had prior arrangements. So here we are on Sunday. We're gonna check this hive. This is the one that you've seen on the very first installment. So I'll take this off. Take this off. Now I had the insulator on it, but I took it off off camera. Now, with this pail, you can see they did suck down a little bit of it. Now, every time you take this pail and turn it over, if it's not more than three quarters full and you turn it back over again, they can leak out. So what I do to combat that, now this one's be fine. You could flip this one over because it's, you know, less than, or more than three quarters full. But let's say it's like down to here. Just take your inner cover, crack your inner cover, get it loose. box and just keep it level like that now you don't have to flip your pail over or do anything like that I'll give these guys a little bit of smoke now you'll have to excuse the smoker here it uh, I've had it for three years now and it fell out of the back of the truck so it's not uh, not sounding the best but it still works so now as you can see the frame uh, the bees are pretty much just on these four frames right here so you always want to start at one end or the other you don't want to start popping in the middle because you can kill your queen that way, kill a bunch of brood, etc. Oh, I'm going to put on my handy dandy frame perch. Put that on there. All these frames are marked 2024, so now I know when to change them. Another good thing about this J-hook hive tool, you can get leverage by pulling it up. The other thing nice about new frames is they're always nice and loose. Haven't done anything with that frame yet. I haven't started that frame. So this is where you have to be careful because you know your queen is going to be on one of these frames. So now you have to be extra careful. You do not want to squish the only one bee that you cannot squish at this time of the year. All right, you can see, gently blow on them. If you blow on them, part ways. And you can see they started to build comb. There's mm -hmm. some pollen being stored there. I don't see any eggs, brood, or larvae. And the queen is marked, but you still want to make, see, you can see they're all piled up. Now, she could be underneath there. So if you gently blow, they'll move around, and you can see if she's underneath there. She's definitely not on that backside. So now... Let's check the queen cage itself. And you can see she is out of the cage, so that's always a bonus. Let's get those worker bees off there. Come on, that one's stubborn. Put that aside. Again, now this is the frame you want to be very careful with because you do not want to kill your queen. So be very gentle with these frames. Nice full frame. Gently blow. Okay, I don't see the queen, but if you look right here, you can see eggs on those frames, or those cells right there. Not a lot of eggs, but they started right there in the middle. Flip over. Nice comb being built on this one. Still don't see the queen. Oh, there she is. It's right at the bottom of the frame. See her right there, nice green dot. And if you look, there's plenty of eggs on that frame right there. So, what I typically do, I see the queen, I see eggs, brood larvae, well, eggs in this case, I'm not gonna go any further. I'm going to gently, so I'm going to keep an eye on her. She's still right there. I'm going to keep an eye on her all the way inside of these frames as I'm slowly lowering it down. This is most important. Take your thumb, put your thumb in between. See, this, the frame has these two little rails on the side here and here. I always, when I know where my queen is, I put my thumb on that rail so when I'm pushing this forward, 
It doesn't slide and you can easily squish the queen that way. Now I'm gonna be somewhat gentle with this one. I'm fairly confident she's still on the back side, but she can crawl. So I'm gonna be confident with that one. Get, see how my thumb's in between the frame? Make sure that you don't jam them frames together. That's a real easy way to kill your queen. I'm gonna place these frames right back in the order that they were. So everything is on track with this hive. So you're good there. Pollen patty, still got plenty of pollen. And you can see, if you zoom in on here, you can see, see how they're eating away at that pollen patty. The edge of the paper's all chewed and they actually started going in between the paper and they're just going to town on that pollen patty. All right. I am going to replace the cover. See, I kept that pail level so I don't have to worry about it leaking. Got my pail insulator. I'm going to put that back on there because I like to keep that syrup as warm as possible. Box. And you can see, if you look in here, I did offset the bucket a little bit. See, there's still a gap in there so bees can get in and out because if you notice, on the inner cover, there's a bunch of bees and I don't want to lose them. This way they can get back into the hive. There we go. I got it marked. So now I'm going to go. Today's date is the 14th. 14th. I want to say queen acceptance eggs there we go we know it's a saskatraz packet we installed it on 411 we checked it on 414 we have queen acceptance with eggs this is a great way now by the end of the season this whole thing should be full all right there we go follow along friday on a sunday but you know what we're doing we'll see you next week